Oh, well, you lovely people, person, things. Thank you for coming if you're here from my TikTok, and I appreciate you coming along and saying hey and joining me in this video. Uh, this is a weird video. This will be the first video on this channel. So, like, comment, subscribe, say hey. I'll try my best to respond. But no promises, no promises. I'll always do my best to try, but there's no promises. Um, yeah, I mean, we're gonna start off this channel by doing some car camping stuff and updates and I'm gonna show you my car setup of one of many things that I'll be doing. Um, yeah, I mean, woo. Uh, we can all do this together. We can do lots of things together. Uh, we can be weird together. We can do lots of weird things. I'm weird. You're weird. We're all weird. <laughs> so without further ado, let's review this refrigerator. So I know this isn't a nice camera angle, and I know I, it could be better. It could be worse, but eh, I'm using what I got. And this is an, the Ice Ice Co. Go 12. Uh, Go 12 means that it is 12 quart. Um, as you can see here, this refrigerator does have a light. Um, it is currently running and has been. Um, I had it running throughout my whole drive back here. And here's some information you can get with this refrigerator. It does have include this little chart. There is the big brother of this model. And call it the Go Twenty, which I believe is a twenty quart or twenty one. I don't remember, but it's the bigger version of this, and it has a dual compartment. Well, this one has a single compartment. I think they both roughly take around the same footprint. Just the Go, the other one is a bit taller, just for that extra space. Let's get into some of these things. Um, as you notice, there's QR codes. You can actually get an app to control this through Bluetooth, which is really awesome. Um, this little button right here, this changes the um, how much energy it draws when it's running from uh, max to eco. Um, that's the power button. It turns it on and off. Those buttons, when you, you tap it once, it actually shows you the temperature, and then you could tap it again while it's flashing, and it will take it down in temperature. Right, I'll keep, but I've been keeping this at about 32 degrees. Um, it fluctuates around with how cold it gets on the inside. And this button, that's just about as much as it does, as it just locks and unlocks it. I don't remember how long you're supposed to hold it down for. <laughs> I forgot the instructions somewhere else. I don't have those with me because I did drive here. Um, this does vent all the way from one side. So this whole side intake and exhaust are both on the same sides. I believe this side is the exhaust side for it. And it plugs in right here. It has a 15 amp fuse right in there. Give me a moment. As you can see here, it's plugged in, DC 12 or 24 volts, with a 15 amp fuse. And this does run off of um, this, it came with this power supply to run it off of, which as you can see the information right here, that it puts at 13.5 volts, and about 6 amps, and about which is about an 80 watt draw. Um, as you can see here, it is a, ci oop. <laughs> a cigarette lighter uh, plug that it uses to basically be, because like I said, this is a 12 volt refrigerator. It's meant to run in your car, which I did run it in my car, but I didn't run it the way you thought, I think. My phone's actually plugged into this little battery bank right here, which has that little power plug. And it ran decently well with it. And with that being said, it is a nice little power supply um, for this, and it has not caused any issues for, for, for running it. So yeah, it's on that, on that battery bank. So yeah, that's just about it. I mean, it's 
it's not really a great review. It's not really a... I mean, I guess you could call it an overview. Um, I really don't have much experience with it. This is actually like the third time I've had this refrigerator running. and been using it. Well, actually, this is the second time I've used the refrigerator since getting it in the mail. And because this weekend I basically just got the box open and was able to get it open. Um, it does come and fairly well packaged for shipping wise. And there, I've heard a lot of things about the Iceco brand and this model of refrigerator specifically. I've heard it's good for people like me living, well, not really living, but doing car camping where you could live out of your vehicle and use this model. If you, I do have to say, if you really want, um, uh, if you really do want something that can fit containers that are like this tall, which I mean, it's not too tall, but this, uh, the Go 12 will not fit these. I'd recommend going up a size. Um, if you really need containers like this to be in there, um, but if they seal well, you shouldn't have a problem laying it on its side to fit in there, which is one thing you'll have to test out on your own and figure it out. And so what we all got to do, we got to test to find out what works best for us. And in my case, my test is going to be putting something like those containers that I'll be using with this refrigerator on its side. Um, the refrigerator does have a light built into it, so that is one of the nice features I do love about it. And that's all I really got to say about it. It's a nice little refrigerator, and as I use it more and drive around with it in my car and actually do use it, I'll have to keep you guys up to date and stuff because it's an exciting process to, to try something new and things, and car camping is what I'm trying new. Um, next video, which will be when the weather's nice or when it stops raining, probably be recorded on the same day. But if it hasn't stopped raining, I will definitely go out and still record the video. I'll just clean out the car a little bit because no one needs to see my messy car right now. <laughs> but, but for the most part, that's what I gotta do. It's just clean up the car, get that, and you'll see the solar set up in the car and how everything's set up in my vehicle. Because I'd really love to show that off because I'm, I'm pretty proud of it. I set it up myself and I got it. And I'll tell you the breakdown of everything. Oh, um, cost. Uh, this refrigerator did cost about $300 um, and on sale from IceCo's website directly. I'll leave a link in the description so you can check it out yourself. Because this refrigerator is what I got. You can It'll be the link to this one. Um, but if you click on their website, you can see the different refrigerator models. You can see all of them. You can see some of them. And they got a lot of them. The best way I like to describe Iceco is you can have a Dometic refrigerator or you can have... I mean, there's a lot of other brands for these 12-volt refrigerators. But Iceco, in my opinion, is the Samsung to the to, 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 equivalent of refrigerators. To, versus the Dometic, which is like the apple of refrigerators in a 12-volt world. You gotta have a give and take. Iceco may have the looks of like Apple does, but Dometic has the price tag of what an Apple does. And that's what I gotta say. Iceco has like the price tag of a Samsung. You can't beat the cheaper price, especially when they use the same well-known compressor manufacturers. Anyway, catch you all later in the next video. Thank you for watching.